Now, video editing is a super time consuming task, but if you think about it, it really doesn't have to be that way because your brain is pretty quick at coming up with the ideas and knowing what you want to do in your video. It's just that it takes a lot of time to actually do it in practice because you might spend multiple minutes or even hours on just a small segment of the video, whether that be a little graphic or animation that is only going to be in there for a couple of seconds and you have to do that over and over again. Now with AI and more specifically ChatGPT's new image generation update, you can also create these very professional looking designs in just a couple of clicks within a matter of seconds. And this is going to allow you to speed up your editing workflow and be able to produce a lot more content in a smaller period of time. Now let me show you how it actually works. You basically have two roads you can go down on when it comes to turbocharging your editing with AI. Number one, you can feed ChatGPT some pretty crappy looking designs that you have created and let it polish it for you. Or number two, you can prompt it from scratch and have it create the elements from nothing. Now let's look at the first example of this. So I created this horrible looking card, which has this ugly green color in about 20 seconds in Photoshop. And this is something that everybody could do, let's be real. And I told ChatGPT to take the simple design and upgrade it, make it look like a six figure year earner designer created it with depth and professionalism and sleek design and also to change the color scheme to blue. And then I also told it to have good separation between the widget and the background and make the background transparent. So I will be able to actually just drag and drop this into my editing project. And now this is what it actually came up with. As you can see, it looks pretty great. And then I also told it to make a 3D version of this. And then this was the 3D version on the right. You can see this looks pretty damn good. It looks like a professional designer made it and it was basically done in just a few seconds from my ugly looking design. Now let's look at a second example. I just took the Premiere Pro logo and I told it to remake this logo in the style of a hundred thousand dollar design team in slight 3D style. And you can see this is what it came up with. It's pretty similar to the original one, but it does have some more depth to it. Obviously it will depend on the person whether they like it more or less than the original but pretty impressive nonetheless. Now, again, you also have the second road that you can go down on, which is to let AI make the asset from completely scratch from just a prompt. So here's the first example of it. Create a minimalistic black icon of a yacht with a transparent background in luxury style. And this is the asset that it created for me. I could easily go ahead now and use this in a logo design or even in an actual video, right? Then I asked it to make it gold material. And then this was the result of that. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Because back in the day, you would easily have to pay you know tens of dollars or hundreds of dollars to license these icons and now you can have them custom made for you in a couple of seconds now i also made a much more difficult one from scratch which was create an image of a visual illustration of a sales funnel i would like it to be minimalistic and simple looking in apple style the sales funnel illustration should have three levels top level with the text saying tof middle level saying mof and bottom level saying BOF. Please use a transparent background and make it 3D looking. And then this is the result that it came up with. I was very impressed by this, honestly, and I could easily use this in a presentation. Then the third example of prompting something from scratch was create a 1920 by 1080 design of a really dark background with triangle shapes all over it in embossing style. And this is what it came up with. It looks really good. I don't know if you guys remember, but just a couple of years ago, you would have these paid websites as well, where you could download, for example, backgrounds uh, for your computer computer or even something like this, which you could use on an actual video as your text background. And this looks amazing, right? And this was on the first try as well. So what could you actually use this chat GPT image generation for? Well, just off the top of my head, these are some of the main use cases that I came up with and that we are going to be using it for in the video editing space. You can use it to create icons that you can pop up on the screen. You can use it to create cards and widgets. You can also make even animated versions of real people or real characters. You can create full screen backgrounds that you can use behind the text or any animations that you are creating. And you can also create all sorts of weird elements and text with overlays or making them look like they were made from a certain material, which would be really difficult to do otherwise. And obviously these are just a couple of examples. You could use it for so many more things. Now, one thing that's very annoying about it, which I've already kind of experienced is if you are generating a lot of images 
images in a row, it sometimes gives you a little cooldown of a couple minutes, which is obviously very disappointing and annoying, especially when you're paying for a monthly subscription. But overall though, I still think this is an amazing tool. And if you are not starting to use AI in your editing workflow, and if you're not studying this and actually trying to stay up to date with it, you will be left behind pretty quickly. Look, editors and creatives are not going to go anywhere in the future. However, there are going to be the ones who are going to just thrive in this new AI economy who actually embody this uh, happening and who actually start using these tools. And there's going to be everybody else who's going to be struggling because they don't supercharge their output with these new modern tools that we have. So if you want to be one of those people who will thrive in this economy, you want to be in communities and in rooms where people are actively discussing the latest and newest AI trends. So that's why we created our community creator syndicate, where you can not only become a much better editor and learn the existing softwares at the highest level, but we'll be also rolling out new AI updates every single week and looking for new ways to speed up your existing workflows so you can make more money and take your career and success to the next level as an editor as well, or even as a hobbyist. And if you're interested in how you could start a six figure year business using AI and content creation, two of the most popular things pretty much in modern marketing and in the modern world, then you can also go ahead and check out the other link in the description, which is an application link to work with me one on one to start your own content AI agency. Now, this is a business model that we've also already helped dozens of people start six figure year businesses with. So if you're very serious and if you're interested, check that out and I will see you guys in the next one.